welcome back to another video. I can't remember the last time I did one or what it was about, but here's another one. Um, this backdrop is a cushion and this is very well set up because basically I've done the small task of moving country. I am now in Australia. In fact, I'm now married, so many things have changed. But I'm doing this one very quickly because these two I'm actually selling. Apparently buying a house means I have to be sensible with money these days, so if I want more Transformers, Selling them is the quickest way to get them. This, by the way, is Mastermind Creations Warper and Stormer, I think? Uh, Sky Warp and Thundercracker. The intention way back when I got these was to get the full set, um, but I never got around to buying Screecher. So, uh, right now, these two have no real place on my uh, shelf. I, I also have a son these days. This is Ryan. Say hello. Hello. He's getting a banana for his fork. His fork for his banana, even. One of those two. I lost my fork, so I need to get a new one. So, yeah, uh, back to Transformers. Um, son has fork and banana, so he's happy, and my wife is in bed, so she's happy. So, let's get on with this. So, yeah, let's get the, that mode out of the way, because it's this one that sort of ruins it all, in the fact that it's meant to be a train kind of... Thing. I know when Mastermind Creation started out, they did uh, things around trains. Um, I unfortunately just weren't collecting that point, so I don't have much of the... I only have these two as part of that collection. Uh, but even this mode is nicely detailed, it's just... For me, it doesn't really look <laughs> like something I'd want on my shelf. Um, it, they do come with a bit of train track, and they do have wheels under there which will go on the train tracks. Um, but, yeah, it does actually look, I bought these initially because they are, they do look really different, and I did actually like, um, the design of them, so, at the time I was interested, it's just, because I didn't get Screecher, and to be honest, he's a little bit down the priority list these days, I'm just not going to get him. Yeah, so this is the alt mode, it's a train kind of thing, I do like the sort of mix of, uh, train and, um, I don't even know what it's meant to be mixed with, but I do like the design of it. The one thing, the reason I wanted to do this video is because they are beautifully detailed. Um, and I wanted to go through that just before I kind of got rid of these. Just sort of a lasting reminder of what they look like. Um, but yes, around the back, um, they have this. When you're transforming them, this is very confusing because it looks like it should be around the front. But it's not, so that's the confusing part. Uh, especially if not using the instructions, but otherwise, yeah, it's not a bad alt mode. Um, it's got lots of nice sharp bits and spin, spinny things and all sorts of stuff. I wasn't going to transform them because it's a pain to do so, <laughs> so that's why I have both of them. So that's the Thundercracker uh, model. And here is Thundercracker transformed. Um, now, Several times I have had second thoughts about selling them because I do really love the robot mode, but the alt mode kind of, each time I remember why I'm selling them. Um, but here he is, and he is really highly detailed. Uh, it's a beautiful mold, um, and I'm, I do kind of regret not getting Screamer, Starscream, but, um, you know, that was then... But if we have a quick look at... One thing I'll say is that the face sculpt on Thundercracker is very nice. It's much more subdued. I had Skywarp out the box uh, first about a week ago. And his head sculpt is a bit violent. <laughs> He's just screaming at something. One thing I will say while um, Skywarp is uh, this close to the camera, the... The detail on this guy is very nice, but I much prefer it on Thundercracker. Um, well, I'll just, just take this off. It's the, the detail doesn't quite show up as nicely um, on this model. But getting back to Thundercracker, so yeah, the level of detail is very high. I mean, if you just look down at the legs, I mean that, and that does turn. Um, so if you do turn his leg, the cogs all turn. Uh, it, it's lovely paintwork as well. The blue is a nice, really nice blue. The one thing I will say is, these came off. And I don't know where they came off from. 
So when I finally put him back in his box to put on eBay, I need to work out whereabouts they came from. Um, but I'm glad they came off here because if they'd come off in front of my wife, um, she normally laughs when things like that happen. But there we go. So yeah, it's a lovely blue colour. And the red goes, it's a really nice striking red. On camera it's a little bit more subdued, but in person it is a lovely red to go with the blue. Um, you do get these guns which tab onto the side. These bits, I'm pretty sure they do something, but I never really managed to work out what. Um, but again, it is a nicely designed um, weapon. It would be nice with a few paint apps to it. Um, you know, maybe a bit of silver on there, or maybe a bit of red just to break up the blue, but the mold itself is really nice. Uh, going up onto the leg, even just the um, like the black plastic bits, the level of detail in there is beautiful. I mean, even inside the knee, it's just all round detail. Uh, you get do get the occasional blue, uh, sorry, the yellow. Is it yellow? It's green. It's one of the two, and that's really nice. There is some actually on the back, which I noticed, and that again, I mean, this is the back, and you very rarely get to see um, this part of him. I'll just push down his head so I can flip that up. So once again, you get lots of detail in places that you just wouldn't always see um, in either mode. And again, to, when you're transforming him, you have to push these up, and you get all these moving cogs. And I, I love that in anything, really. If I can see moving parts um, in something, then I do love seeing that. He's not the lightest, but again, he's not the heaviest, because it is all just plastic. But he does feel relatively sturdy. Obviously, a, a, he wouldn't be a child's toy. Because he's, well, one, because he's not that sturdy, and two, there's lots of sharp bits. I have poked myself on these many, many times, and, well, it wasn't a nice experience. But that's Thundercracker all close up. Skywarp has exactly the same design, so it's exactly the same sculpt. On here, it is just grey plastic, and it looks like grey plastic. On Thundercracker, it's got a more kind of gunmetal finish. So on Skywarp it does look just that little bit cheaper, but again all the cogs move and you have all the detail, and again around the back you have that kind of green yellow finish which is really nice. You can hold these, um, these weapons, they either can be held as one, or they will split in half and you can hold them as two swords, so you can split them and they can be held separately and they are these are again these would benefit from more paint apps on them so if there was a bit of silver on there even if it was just on the handle or even just across the blade then these would look even better because they they are nicely sculpted and they feel very nice as well um i do like the purple the purple goes really nice the actual the um colors on these fins here they are really beautiful on both the purple goes so well against the black and on the other one, on Thundercracker, the red goes so well with the, um, the blue. I think they have a very, very good robot mode. I think the alt mode, unless you've gone for that stylistic uh, approach to your shelf, then I don't think they would fit in too well. My recommendation is if you do get these, you'd have to get Screamer as well, um, just because you complete the Seeker set. But other than that, this is Mastermind Creations, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. I'm sure there'll be more videos at some point. Um, I will be looking through my collection of Transformers and I might do a few reviews on some I never got round to doing. Uh, and I'll probably be doing a couple more game videos at some point. I have to move house in the next few months, so that will come first, so it'll be at some point in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time.